So I recently bought myself a Logitech C920 Pro. That's why, as you can see, my recordings are looking way better than they were before. And by default, when using it in OBS on Linux, it looks absolutely awful. It's the same on Windows, but the solution's a bit different. And today, what I'm gonna go over is how to actually fix this problem with this webcam. It may be similar with other webcams. If you're experiencing the same issue with something else, you might as well try this. If it fixes it, then hey, you fixed it. If it doesn't, then I guess you gotta try something else. So let's get started. Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. So the recording is not going to be the same way that it normally is just because I've got some weird setup going on right now where I'm recording OBS from another instance of OBS. So you're going to have to look at my face within this OBS box. So the settings that we're going to be changing in here are actually fairly simple. So this is probably going to be a fairly short video. So if you get the webcam looking to how it did back when I first bought it. it okay, so yeah, this is how it looked when I first got it. See, like, when I move my fingers around, they're really blurry for some reason. And it's, I don't think it was even 720p. It might have been lower than that, but for the sake of demonstration, this is good enough. So what you're gonna wanna do is, where it says the video format here, you wanna change that from YUYV42, whatever that means, I don't know what it means, to BGR3, which I also don't know what it means. All I know is that it works. I know on Windows you can change the video format to something like MJPEG or something like that. I'll link a video in the description below where I found the Windows fix for this. And yeah, because it's a, it's a little different on, on Linux. So now we can see my fingers aren't as blurry as they were before, so I can like do fast movements and you can actually kind of see what's happening. And the other thing that I did, so this didn't actually say 720p when I first got it, it said unchanged, so it would have been something like that. What you want to do to get it up to 1080p, obviously, is to just switch it over to 1080p, and there you go. Now it just worked perfectly fine. So you don't really need to touch any of these other settings. So if you were to use something other than BGR3, the problem with those is the contrast seems way, way too high. If you like it though, you could use that, but anything that's not the default setting will get rid of that weird laggy issue. So I'm just gonna go with BGR3 because I think it looks better. The frame rate, you don't need to change because it defaults to 30, so that's fine as it is. The color range, I believe it defaults to full because when I clicked full earlier, it didn't do anything, so you might as well just leave that as it is as well. And apart from that, you don't need to touch any of the settings. So I didn't have any problems actually setting up the webcam itself, so when I had plugged it in, it just worked. But some people have said they've had issues actually getting it to register as a device, and if that's the case, the solution that I've seen most effective is honestly just unplug it and plug it into a different USB port. If that doesn't fix it, then you might have an actual problem, but for most people that seems to be something that actually just fixes it. So as I said, this is a fairly short video. There wasn't really much to cover. I just wanted to make sure that there's a video on my channel on how to actually get your webcam working properly because if you do get a webcam like this, you do want to get the most out of it. You don't want it to be blurry and have really bad colors and be in a terrible resolution. You want it to actually look better than what was built into your laptop or just whatever you are using before. So if you like this video, remember to like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon below if you want to see more from my channel. Leave a comment letting me know if this solution worked for you or if it didn't and you've got to try something else. Or if you already know about this solution and I don't know, you just want to say you know about the solution. And I've got a Twitter account where I'll post random video updates mainly and occasionally some random dev stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it for me, so I'm out.